What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Um, if it's your first time here, welcome in. Welcome to the channel. My name is Bruno Aiello, or if you're you know, in the Twitch world or the streaming world, you'll know me as Capone Gaming. Uh, I will put the link down below if you want to come check it out. I do stream every single day pretty much on Twitch. Uh, the link will be below. But that, you know, I, I got to talk about this, man. This is something I really want to talk about. The Floyd Mayweather, uh, Logan Paul fight. Uh, here's the thing, man. I had some thoughts about this fight before it started. Um, I have a lot of, uh, uh, of takes on just the whole, everything as, as a whole between, you know, the Paul brothers and, and their boxing matches and, and all this stuff. Um, but I do want to talk about this fight in particular, and then I want to get into the overall, just everything going on with them uh, and everything. Okay. So, uh, first I want to say the, the entire fight, all right, uh, Floyd Mayweather, 44 years old. Uh, Logan Paul, something like 27, 28, something like that. Young kid. Young kid. You know, he's in his prime. He's young. He's strong. He's big. He's 40 pounds bigger than uh, Mayweather, uh, which, you know, in, in the real world is a, is a big it's a, that's a big advantage. That, that, the 40 pounds of power, there's two ways to look at it. There's, a, there's an advantage to it. There's also a disadvantage to it. Um, the advantage to it is you're a lot bigger and, you know, technically supposed to be a lot stronger. Now, muscles doesn't mean strength. Um, you know, I understand that I, I have been in, in martial arts my, almost my whole life. Uh, I do understand that whole thing. I'm not a big guy myself, but I understand, um, how it all works. So, um, the weight difference that that's one thing. Cause there's a little bit more power behind the punches. Now, here's the thing. If you can't hit your target, those muscles don't mean anything. So, um, the, now the thing I want to talk about is Floyd Mayweather has so much experience so much experience. Um, he is one of the greatest fighters of all time. So here's the thing. He's been there before. Logan Paul's done a couple fights. Uh, Floyd Mayweather's been there many times, 51 times, 52 times, whatever it's been, uh, now including those exhibition fights. Uh, he has that experience. The guy, he knows what it's like to be in the ring. He knows what it's like to be in round eight and all that stuff. He's hard to hit. He's known as a counter uh, fighter. He's known as a boring fighter, but it doesn't matter. One thing I've always said, and you're in any kind of sport, it doesn't matter what it is, the entertainment value should always come second. It should always come second. You're there to do a job, do a job. Uh, you're there to win the fight, do what it takes to win the fight. Who cares if people are entertained or not? I get it. People want to be entertained, but as the fighter, you want to win the fight. So um, the way I always look at it is do what you have to do to win. Don't worry about the entertainment value. Uh, these guys are going to make, you know, 50 million, 20 million, 100 million, whatever it is. Uh, it doesn't matter. You're going to pay to watch it regardless. You're going to be upset. Do they care? No. You know why they don't care? Because they're taking 20 million to the bank and you're upset about it for 24, 48 hours, maybe a week, and you're over it. You move on with your life. They move on with their life, but they're $20 million richer. And you know what? Your life doesn't change. So what? You weren't entertained for one fight. What do you expect? These guys, you know, someone like Logan Paul, he's not a professional fighter. Um, now, here's what I want to say. There's so many stats I want to talk about, man. I was looking at the stats of the fights. Um, Floyd Mayweather threw 14 jabs. 14 jabs in eight rounds. Come on, man. You know Floyd is, you know he's letting up. You know he's not out there to, 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 he's thrown 14 jabs in eight rounds. That's not even two jabs a round. Come on. Come on, man. Um, you got 93 power punches. Okay, you know, that's decent. 93 power punches. He landed 35 or 36 of them. That's 39%. He landed, by the way, he landed seven of those 14 jabs. That's 50%. He landed 36 of 93 power punches. That's 39%. Uh, for a total of 40, he landed 43 shots, 43 hits out of 107 uh, throws, which is uh, a total of 40%. So he landed 40% of his punches. Um, 14 jabs, come on. You know, we know, we know Mayweather throws more than 14 jabs in eight rounds. We know that. We know that. Um, Logan Paul, on the other hand, threw 73 jabs. 73 jabs to 14 jabs. Uh, he landed seven of those. <laughs> so he landed the same amount. He landed the same amount of jabs, but he threw, what, seven times more? That's fine. Uh, for 10%. Uh, power punches, he threw 144. He landed 21. Uh, for a total of, he landed 28 punches out of 217. That's 13%. So Floyd Mayweather landed 40%. Uh, Logan Paul landed 13%. Here's the thing, man. Uh, Logan Paul looked rough, dude. That guy did. He was gassed by round three. Here's and this is what I want to talk about. As a professional fighter, I've been in the ring a few times, man. I know um, when you, your first fights, your 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 adrenaline kicks in. All your training, you know, you could train, you could hit a bag every day for however long. As soon as you get in that ring, a lot of times, if you're a new fighter, you throw all your training out the window and you just start, you know, throwing wild stuff. And you're not, you know, you're not doing the combos you're supposed to do. 
uh, and all that stuff. So, um, and, and, you know, he was just throwing these lazy jabs. You know, they were just kind of going, coming out like this. His hands were low. His hands were low. And that's one thing I want to talk about. Um, uh, Logan Paul's hands were low. Floyd Mayweather, I don't care if he's 44 years old, man. Yes, you're slower. Yes, I listen, man. I get it myself. I'm not as fast. I'm not in my 30s. I'm not as fast as I was in my 20s. That's just that's just life. That's just life. That's your body deteriorating. That's life. Now, again, uh, Floyd Mayweather is like a world class athlete, so he's in a. I can't compare myself to him, but he's 44 years old. He's been getting punched in the face and in the body. You know, for the last 25 years, it's gonna do damage and it's gonna do a toll to your body. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, and the one way I like to put this is like when you're 44 years old, look, look at we'll look at Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, he's like 60 years older. Whoever you want to look at, Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, the best of, of, of the of, of their times. You put them against someone that's just a mediocre, you know, or a good, you know, college student or high school kid, they're gonna have a hard time. They're not as fast. As they used to be. It doesn't matter how good they were in their prime. They're on their prime anymore. And that's way. That's the way I look at Floyd Mayweather. Great in his prime. He's 44 years old. So, yes, he's a little slower. He's not as quick. And, and of course. Uh, but I want to say something. Logan Paul's hands were by his stomach. The whole fight, he was like this. Now, Floyd Mayweather could have taken this kid's head off at any time. I think he tried a little bit a couple times later in the fight, but he was taking it easy on him. There was a couple, for the first few rounds, Floyd wasn't throwing punches. He wasn't even throwing anything. He was just walking up to him like this. Um, now, was that a strategy to gas him out? Maybe. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about earlier when I said your size can work for you or against you. Uh, the more muscles you have and the bigger you are, the faster you gas out. That's just the way it is. The smaller and lighter you are, the more, you might have less power, but you have that more, more stamina. So... Logan Paul was gassed by round three. Floyd Mayweather could have handled him. Floyd, I, to me personally, I feel like Floyd could have taken him out at any time. He was playing with him. And here's the thing. All the betting sites, all right? Um, once I found it, so I had this whole take. I did, you know, I, like I said, I stream on Twitch. We talked about it on the stream. And I had this whole take on it. As soon as I found out, as soon as I found out that there was no winner, there was, there was going to be no winner, no judges, I called it right then and there. I called it right then and there on the spot when someone in my stream said, oh, no, there's no decision. There's no, there's, if, it, if it goes eight rounds, it's a tie. I called it right there and then that uh, do not bet on this match. Do not bet on Floyd. Do not bet on, on, on uh, Logan Paul. Do not bet on this fight. You're going to lose. They're going to go the distance. This was called bragging rights, okay? Bragging rights. So what are they bragging? Logan Paul survives eight rounds. To him, he won. Floyd Mayweather's going to cash out, what, 20, 50, 100 million? I don't even know. He could brag about that. They're both bragging. Floyd Mayweather's bank account is bragging. Logan Paul can brag and said, yo, he went eight rounds with Floyd Mayweather. It doesn't matter. It's a bragging rights. I went the distance with one of the greatest fighters of all time. That's bragging rights. That's what this was set up to do. This whole match was set up to go the distance. Floyd Mayweather threw 14 jabs in eight rounds come on uh things like that you gotta pay attention to now that brings me to my next thing um these fights that the logan that the logan brothers are setting up are made for the they're made to set them up for the next fight this is what it is if you look at all their bouts okay they challenge ben Askren. okay who, who cares ben Askren's a wrestler he's not a boxer you saw him putting his hands up he looked like he was fighting from the 40s he's like this who does that these are not boxers. These are kids in their 20s, in their prime. They're young. When I was 25, I was on top of the world. I was a machine. You're just, your body's moving. You're good. You're, 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 you're not, you know, age hasn't kick started kicking in yet. You're 25, 28 years old. You're still young. They're fighting guys in their 40s and that are washed up that used to box or used to wrestle or used to do whatever. They're not in their prime anymore. They're smart. It's a business and they know what they're doing. They're targeting people like Ben Askren. They're targeting people like Floyd where the contract says, yo, we go to the distance, uh, you know, nobody wins. This is very important. So as soon as I saw that, I knew right away it was going the distance. I called it on my stream. As soon as they said, because at first I was like, yo, Logan Paul could knock him out with one punch. He can. He probably could. He has to hit him. And Floyd Mayweather is just a better boxer. Just he's a better fighter. He's a, it just overall. There's it's not even a compare. There's no. It's not even a comparison. There's no. They're not even close to the same league. It's just some kid from YouTube that wants to fight and one of the greatest boxers of all time. You know this was set up for a tie from the start. So uh, that being said, there um, now they're they're hand picking their opponents. They have all these real boxers, like real boxers, no name boxers. No names, but real boxers that are saying, "Yo, I'll, I'll, I'll punch you out, man. I'll, I'll cut. Yo, I'll sign it right now." 
but they're smart because they know as soon as they lose, this whole story is over. They don't want the story to end. So as, as long as they haven't lost, as long as they haven't lost, the next person wants to call them out and be like, I want to be the one to shut his mouth. I want to be the one to shut his mouth. Sign me, sign me. And everybody is paying to see these kids lose. That's what they want to see. They're paying to see these kids lose. So every time they win, their stock goes up. Everyone else is going to buy the next fight to see them go to sleep. And here's the thing. So that's why they're handpicking their opponents. They're setting these special rules up to keep them on top. Because as soon as they lose, it's over. As soon as, you know, Jake gets knocked out, no one cares anymore. Everyone wants to be the first one to knock them out. And that's the whole thing. So you get all these UFC fighters, all these boxers, social media, all the top fighters in the world, all these people that do this for a living are calling these two YouTube kids out. How crazy is the sound, man? You have all these top fighters, people in the UFC, boxing, whatever they're doing. They're bringing so much attention to these Paul brothers. That's what they want. So as long as they keep winning, more fighters are going to call them out. Bigger, better fighters, they can handpick their battles. And that's what they're doing. And that's how they're staying on top. So they're not losing. You know, Logan Paul didn't win, but he went the distance with Floyd Mayweather. That's bragging rights. And that's what this was called, bragging rights. So... Um, now here's the thing, Woodley, Woodley's a tough, Woodley's no joke, Woodley's no joke, uh, it's going to be interesting how to see this fight, to see how this fight works out, because uh, Woodley could put Jake to sleep, um, I don't think, I, pers I mean Jake, I mean, I give credit where it's due, I think the kid's a tool, I think he's an absolute tool, uh, but I, I, he has a little bit of hands, I'm not going to say he's a great fighter, he has hands, he's nowhere near, you know, top notch, but he could throw a little bit, but at the same time, he hasn't been tested. Who do you fight? Ben Askren? Who cares? Who cares? It's Ben. A you saw him show up. My favorite comment in that fight was one of the commentators said he looks like a bag of milk. And that's exactly what he looked like. He looked like a bag of milk. He just showed up to make a quick paycheck. See you later. And that's the other thing too. Is these fighters are getting paid more than what they can make in their entire career in the UFC. There's a flaw here. There's a flaw here. You have a business. UFC top of the line if you're in the mma you want to hit the ufc you know you've made it if you hit the ufc and then you have these these two youtube kids that are making these fighters more money than those ufc fighters are making in an entire career there's a flaw in this system there's a flaw in this system that these two kids can make these pro fighters more money in one night than these guys can make in five six years whatever it is now I can I can understand why that that that's how it works because UFC is a business and they have a bigger roster. They have I don't know 20, 50, 60, 100. I don't know how many people are on the roster. I don't know. But they have to pay each and every single one of them. They can't afford to pay each one of these guys 50 million dollars a fight. It doesn't work that way. So I understand why, but the fact is that these kids can do that and these you and these and these these uh, UFC fighters see that and they're like, what am I doing wrong? I'm going out here training every day and my face kicked in and arms broken and limbs broken and whatever, um, you know, to make a fraction of what these guys are making. It's crazy. But, hey, that's the way it goes. So, um, I, listen, I'm the kind of guy I give credit where it's due. The Paul brothers, they're, they're very, very, very smart businessmen. Either they are or they have the right people in their corner uh, pushing the right buttons and, 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 and doing the right things because they're very smart. They talk shit, they get called out, people want to beat them up, and they make money. Hey, they're living life, they're loving life, and they're doing it with a lot, a lot of money. So, they're doing it right. Uh, if you like them or not, I'm not, you know, personally, I'm not a big Jake Paul fan. I think Logan Paul's a pretty good, I don't, you know, I don't know him very, I don't know, I don't watch their YouTube stuff. But from the few things I've seen, he seems to be an alright guy. It is, he doesn't seem to have a big, I don't know, maybe he does have an ego, I don't know. But I don't know them well enough. But the Jake Paul, see, here's the thing, everyone wants to punch out the little brother, man. Everyone wants to punch out his little brother. Um, and I'm one of those two, man, I'm not going to lie. But anyway, um, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you uh, if you want, hit that sub button, that like button. You guys know the drill. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Did you think it was rigged? Uh, what do you think? I want to know what you think of this fight. Who do you think's next on the on the line for either one of them? I know Woodley's next for Jake. Who do you think uh, Logan's fighting next? What do you think is going to go down? Um, yeah, I, I want to know. What do you think? What do you think Mike Tyson's going to get in there? You think Mike Tyson's going to get in there and fight him? How sick would that be? Tyson going in and just I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, there's so many thoughts on this fight. He was gassed by round three. I felt like Floyd could have ended him at any time. He didn't throw many jabs or punches. He was kind of, you know, he's doing defensively. That's what he's known for. But um, 
there, there's just something not sitting right with this. And you know what? That's fine, man. They made their money. I'm sure they don't care. Floyd Mayweather's laughing at the bank. He doesn't care. If you're upset, he doesn't care. Paul Brothers don't care. If you're upset, they're going to the bank too. They don't care. So anyway, guys, that's my video. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me, let me tell, or let me know what your thoughts are on it. Who, do they, who, who should they fight next? Also, don't forget to check out the stream, twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming. Comment will be below. And I hope to see you guys soon and hope to chat soon. I'm out of here. Peace.